Good morning, River Heights. Happy Monday. I have to say I apologize for not being with you last Monday. Being a holiday and all, I totally forgot about our devotion time together. What? Apologies for that. <clears throat> but today, I am excited about today. Um, you know, something that Courtney did yesterday, I, I got to say that Courtney Herewald did a fantastic job um, in her sermon yesterday. And I am better because of it and for it. And really made me think about a lot of things. So I, if you haven't seen it, I would go back to our Facebook page and watch that. Um, but one thing she did before she even started is she took a deep breath and just said, let's pause for a minute, take a deep breath and just allow God to be. And so I'm going to pray for us here and then we're going to get started um, by doing just that. So, and then I'll explain that. So let, let us pray. Um, Father, we just thank you for who you are. Holy Spirit, would you come? Just come, Lord. Just love on us right where we're at. The stuff, the muck, the mire, the seaweed that's holding us back or just feel like we can't move in life. Lord, right now, just I just pray that we'd be able to put all that aside for just a moment to hear your word, to hear your voice. So Lord, speak to us here in the next few minutes. We just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. It is great to be with you this morning. Um, <clears throat> so back to Courtney doing a little exercise. It was a mini exercise and it just got me, it's like God spoke to me in that moment. It was crazy. When she said, let's take a minute, take a deep breath. You know, when you take that deep breath and exhale, it's like stuff just leaves. Your mind, your body just, oh, okay, now I'm ready. And so today I kind of want to take a breath, but we're going to take a few minute breath. I don't know, for a few minutes here. And our breath is going to be a prayer breath. And so we're going to, and that's, that, that's confusing, I'm sorry. Basically, we're just, we're going to pray. Um, but I'm going to give us some things to pray about. So I kind of want to do a little prayer exercise um, that we're going to go through here. So, you know, God is an amazing God, and he really wants to have a relationship with his kids. That'd be you and me. Um, and it's amazing that no matter what we've done, no matter where we've been or who we are right now, God wants to have that relationship with us. And, um, you know, with everything going on right now with pandemics and um, just racism stuff, and then you've got uh, election stuff going on. I mean, it is just a time that we have never seen before. It's unprecedented. And um, everything coming in all at once. And I think we just need to take a breath. Take a breath. Um, Matthew 6 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So that's what I want to do today. I just want us to seek God first. Seek God today. And then I would encourage you um, to seek God first every day. Um and when I say seek, that means you're going to look for him. That means talk to him. Like we're talking right now. Just talk to him. Have a conversation with him. Um, tell him your hurts. Tell him your joys. Does he know this stuff already? Sure, but that's okay. Tell him your hurts. Tell him your joys. Um, don't say anything at all. And just listen. And see what he has to tell you. So... Today, I just, I hope it's my prayer, my thought. Um, I just think God wants to really speak to us through this time of kind of reflection, so to, so to speak, and, and little prayer exercise. Um, so we're going to pray for a few things here. Um, 
I just feel like God just really wants to talk to us about certain things, and he may speak to you about one thing and not another. So God's pretty cool. He's He's pretty cool like that. And he really uh, does desire that relationship and how you have that relationship is through talking and through discussing. And so I guess the first thing in our prayer exercise is <clears throat> i like us to pray for, we're going to take a minute. So I'm going to give it a little subject and then we're going to, I'm going to give a moment of silence and we're going to pray. And we're going to pray about that. So um, individually. So I'm going to give you some time to do that. So the first thing is to just pray for this pandemic. So pick something, um, something specific or a group of people uh, that God just puts on your heart to pray for. And maybe he hasn't put anything or anyone on your heart yet to pray for. Um, so I would encourage you, let's, let's take some time um, and do that now. I'll give us about a minute or so. Um, to pick something in this pandemic um, or a group of people to pray for. Let's, let's take time and talk to God now. Amen. Amen. What was God speaking to you about there? Was he speaking to you? Um, did he put something really heavy on your heart? Or put a group of people or a person in your heart? Um, you might want to write that down. And don't say to yourself, oh, I'll remember that, I'll remember that. Eh, sometimes you forget. I would write it down. Never hurts to write things down, right? Because we're going to do a few more. <sighs> You know, I just, I guess one thing that I just have a real heart for is um, the workers, um, the frontline workers. My cousin is a, is a nurse, and he um, talks a lot about, you know, the things that they go through, the, the things that they think about. And it's a mental thing. It's not just a physical thing, but it's a mental, constantly mentally aware of what is happening and what is going on. So you got mental and physical. So it was just, how can we help the frontline workers? So, see, God will put things in your heart. When you take time and pray about things, he'll put that in your heart. So now we're going to switch gears a little bit. Um, so pandemic is one. Um, in fact, I'm going to write that down for me. Pandemic. Um, How to care for frontline workers. Love it. See, God will speak to you sometimes. It's great. Okay, um, man, we gotta move. I only got a few more minutes. Ah, um, election. Um, maybe not for somebody individually, but maybe more abstract, more God work through this election. Um, if you wanna pray for somebody specifically, that's up to you. Um, but this is a very volatile election year, no matter if it's state, national, city, government. It is the hotbed right now. Um, so let's just, let's just pray for our election, pray for the results of the election, maybe, as well. Uh, he's brought that to mind to me quite a bit, um. Yeah, so let's take time to pray for, and maybe pray for our elected leaders that we have now. Because um, they're still going to be leading us. So, even through the election and beyond. Um, yeah, so let's, let's pray for that. Let's take a minute and we'll pray.
Amen. Amen. How to be a Christ follower during a volatile election time. How to keep Christ at the forefront. Uh, next one. Next thing I'd love for us to pray for is with all the civil unrest and protests and things like that that are happening. Um, and I'm sure over the past few months you've heard some cities that were under siege or um, a lot of unrest is happening in, in those cities and some are still happening. Um, but if you could pick a city... Pick a city that you've heard that you that God maybe has brought to your mind, but pick a city and um, and pray for that city. Pray for its leadership. Um, it could be Minneapolis. It could be St. Paul. It could be Invergrove, but it could be Portland, Oregon. It could be um, even with the wildfires happening in California right now. So, I mean, pick a city and just pray for that city. Um yeah, let's take a minute. We'll just pray. Pray for the cities that that things are happening in. Um, we'll just pray for that city now. So we'll take a minute and we'll pray for that city. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Um, one thing they like us to pray for um, also is River Heights. How we as a church can impact the Invergrove, South St. Paul area. Um, and maybe even the city that you live in. Because um, some people live in different cities. So, um, how can RHV, how can River Heights impact Invergrove, South St. Paul, and surrounding areas um, during this time of COVID and all these things that are happening? So let's let's uh, let's just pray. Let's pray for our our church, how we can be an impact. So let's just pray for our church now. Just come, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, man. And lastly, uh, last thing to pray for. Sorry, I'm going a little longer than normal. Um, but I just think prayer is important. It's great to start the week off. And again, we're taking a breath. This is our breath. Um, let's take a breath and just pray. Pray for different things. Pray for and hear and see what God is saying to you. And maybe he's saying things and maybe he's not. Um but hopefully he's putting something on your heart. 
to pray for. Uh, and lastly, we're going to pray for somebody that you know um, that is struggling. Um, maybe there's a certain person or a certain people group or whatever. Um, but I would say pray for somebody that you know is struggling. Um, not for like world peace or anything like that, although that would be great. But just a specific person that you know is struggling. Um, and if you don't know of anyone who's struggling, ask God to bring that person to your mind, and he will. Um, he'll bring that person to your mind that's struggling, and then you can, you can pray for that person. So let's, let's take a, a minute, and we will um, pray for, just pray for someone you know. Take a minute, pray for somebody you know, and yeah, then I'm going to close this out in prayer. So um, yeah, let's take a minute and pray for somebody that you know that is struggling. Oh, well, thank you for sharing our time together today, um, taking a bit of your, of your day and just taking time to reflect, pray, um, and just talk to God and just listen to what he has to say too and just find out the things that he's putting on your heart, things that are weighing you down a little bit. So let me close this in prayer and then you can go about your Monday. So let's pray. Holy Spirit, we just thank you for our time here. We thank you for your word. Thank you that we, just reminding us to seek you first. Even amongst all of our own stuff and the things that are going on and the weight of the world, the weight of our families, the weight of our jobs. Um or the weight of trying to find a job or trying to find a home or whatever, Lord, that we are to seek you first. Seek you first. Lord, help us to do that. Help us to seek you first, Lord. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. And Lord, I just, I want to be better at that. I want to be better at seeking you first. Because so many times I want to do things on my own, on my own time. Lord, just continue to, to just reveal yourself to us. Holy Spirit, just love on us and bless us, Lord. We want to bless you and all that we do and say. Lord, love on our friends, love on our HV today. We just thank you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Guys, thank you for sticking with me. Uh, it's a little longer than normal, but it's a good deep breath to take. And yeah, have a great Monday today. It's going to be a great day today. Have a great Monday, and we will see you tomorrow's devotion at 10 a.m. God bless, guys.